Hey, one more thing. Yeah? You ever use a rifle out there? If you do, you should see our gunsmith, Rupert. That guy can craft a howitzer from a pop gun. A silencer would be more useful, but where would I find him? Well, that's the thing. He hasn't been in his workshop for a while. You might want to try his flat. Maybe I'll do that. Crane, I was looking for Rupert. No, you weren't. You were looking for a gunsmith who happens to be named Rupert. Right, fair enough. I'd like to talk about some weapon modifications. You work for Rise? No. Mm. Well, I suppose that helps. But I'm waiting for my wife Jasmine to come back. Until she's here, I can't leave. Has she been gone long? No, not long. So it'll probably be a while before she returns. And what about these kids? Are their parents... Dead, I hope. Every day, I'm terrified that one of them is going to look out the window and see their mother or father shambling down the street. I don't know what I'm going to do when that happens. What have you told them? Half-truths. That a dark magic has taken over the city, but that I am a good wizard who can protect them. It's the sort of game that doesn't end. Jasmine is better at this sort of thing. Hell, I'm a gunsmith. 
What am I doing playing this magical nonsense? Seems to me you're doing pretty well. Well, I'm not. There's a girl named Isla. She's a diabetic. Only her insulin ran out a while ago. Now her blood sugar is sky high. She's dehydrated and exhausted. Jasmine says if she doesn't get some insulin soon, she'll slip into a coma and die. And here I am in this stupid wizard hat, and the kids are waiting for me to cure her with a magic potion. Maybe it's time to tell them the truth. There is no good magic, only the dark kind. Take it easy, Rupert. There's a drugstore in town. Maybe I can find some insulin there. Are you serious? Mister, if you could do that, I can't tell you how grateful I'd be. I've got a radio here. If my wife Jasmine comes back, I'll probably go home for a while, but I'll let you know before I leave.
mental in here. wrong. I don't mean this plague, that must be God. But what went wrong with Haran? Oh, when they found the oil, they said it would make us all rich. Everybody. They said there would be jobs, but the good jobs went to people who weren't even from Haran. They built big towers with air conditioning, but I don't know anyone who works in them. For us, they built this slum. That was our reward. That was the gift of oil. Now the water is not clean, and the air smells like a truck. It was not fancy before, but it was not so ugly like it is now. And then this plague came. Last month, I saw a man. A rich man. He was being attacked by a peasant woman. I knew her. Her name was Denise. Only, she was no longer a person. And this thing that used to be Denise bit into that rich man's face like it was a watermelon. And I was glad. I'm ashamed of how glad I was.
I don't see any insulin. Hey, Troy, can you hear me? It's Crane. Yes, Crane. What do you need? There's a bunch of kids in the Magic Fortress. Did you know about this? It's news to me. We thought that place was empty. Do they need assistance? From what I've seen, yes. It's going to take time to get anyone over there. Understood. I'll stay until someone arrives. Hey, look, in the meantime, I need insulin. I'm at the drugstore now, but it's been picked clean. Maybe you could check and see if the computer works. There should be records of people who bought the insulin last, along with their addresses. Maybe they still have it? Thanks, Troy. Out. <laughs> Rupert, this is Crane. Look, no luck here. Damn it. Isla's lying down. She doesn't look right. I think we're almost out of time. Oh, but there is a receipt here for insulin sold to someone named Ekram Bozkurt. That ring a bell? That's Isla's father. Maybe he left insulin at their home. His address is on the receipt. All right, I'll head over and have a look.
Monica. I'm driving to the pharmacy to get Alia's medication, then to Farhat Pizzeria, and then I'll pick up Alia from daycare. We should be home with dinner by six. We love you, my darling, Ekram. So he got to the pharmacy, but he never picked up his daughter. Rupert, where's Farhat Pizzeria? What? Just get me the address. It's near the Magic Fortress on Mercantile Street. If you've done it. Will she be all right? Yes, yes, it's exactly what she needs. I'll take care of Isla, but could you keep the other children busy while I'm with her? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm really, I'm pretty busy. Just talk to them. That's all you need to do. I've already told them you're a great warrior, like a knight. You did? When's your wife coming back? You'll be fine. I just need a few minutes. Children! This heroic warrior has returned with a healing elixir for Isla. Now, he's going to stay here and be your protector, while I administer the elixir to Isla. Well, now, hang on, wait. I won't be long. <laughs> hey there, bud. What's your name? Kadeem. Kadeem. I like that name. I have a secret. Really? Yeah, well, so do I. What's your secret? I'm a GRE agent. What do you got? 
Can you get my blocks for me? But that's, that's not really a secret. But some of them are downstairs, near the basement. And Mr. Rupert said we're not ever to go near the basement. Not ever. But I went down there just to see. And I heard a scary sound, and I kind of dropped my blocks. They're kind of all over. Could you get them back for me? Huh, that's a tall order, but I'll give it a shot. Here you go, Kadeem. All blocks accounted for. Thanks. Hey, are you going to tell Rupert about this? So, will you keep my secret? That you work for the... Who was that again? Your secret's safe, Kadeem. But I'm gonna talk to Rupert about those noises in the basement. I heard them too. Isla's okay. She's sleeping now. She'll need some time to fully recover. Thank you again, Mr. Crane. My wife Jasmine should be back any time now, and since I know how tiring these kids can be, I'm sure you'll be wanting to move on. No, not just yet. But, well, our supplies are very limited. Look, this is too much responsibility for one person, Rupert. I've sent for help. They'll be here soon. That's not necessary. Jasmine and I can handle things just fine. Rupert. I was downstairs. Oh. I see. I'm, I'm sorry, Rupert. Sometimes in those noises, I think I can still hear a tiny trace of her voice. I was hoping it would be over by now, but I couldn't do it. My wife, my beautiful, beautiful Jasmine. This has to end. I would let her kill me before I would lift a finger to harm her. Just give me the basement key.
Did you find her? Were you able to help her? She has peace now. Thank you. From both of us. I hope somewhere I may find forgiveness for what I did. For what I couldn't do. Are you really leaving? I'm afraid I have to, sweetie. But some friends are coming to help you guys out. They'll be here really soon. What if the troll gets them? Uh, what troll? There's a giant troll down in the parking lot. He makes lots of very scary noises, so it's hard to sleep. Oh, well, that's no good. Maybe I'd better chase him away. And we can't have trolls in the parking lot, can we? No, sir. Scratch one troll. Crane, this is... Rupert, you're all right? Yeah, but kids are a lot more work than I realized. That's the truth. Look, your friends arrived, so I'm turning in my wizard hat and headed back to my workshop. I want you to meet me there. I owe you one hell of a day. It's time for me to pay it. I'll meet you there.
Let's do this! Me like a man. me off guard. Lucky you showed up. Glad you made it. You did me a heck of a favor back at the Magic Fortress. Happy to help. And I'm happy to pay you back, so have a look around. If you see anything you want, it's yours. On the house. This will do very nicely. Thanks. Thank you. And good luck, Crane. <laughs> <laughs> 